Hi, sweeties. How are you doing? Welcome to Simnaya, and thank you all so much for all the love and support. Hope you all are doing great. So today we'll be talking something very important, and it's about a white man who called out his own community for all the things they have been doing to black people and continue to do to them to this very moment, and how they criminalize, how they criminalize black people. And he is asking them to be woke. And the truth is that some of them will rather unalive themselves, you know, instead of being woke, because they said woke is everything bad, everything horrible. But then I look at the people that say woke is everything bad, and like I am like, you all are not even ready to learn. You all are not even ready to sit up. Because to be woke is to, I mean, be awake to your surroundings, to everything, to political, like every damn thing happening around you. So you all will rather, because they are always like ball blue, no matter who, and all that. And then when we talk about woke, they even criminalize woke too. And when they talk about woke, you all already know that they are talking about black people and the rest of it, you know? So all these things that I see, and I am like, it is not even in our culture, to be white, we do not have that. It is not in our culture. We did not create race and the rest of it. You all already know how we all started and all with that. And if you do not speak up, speak to your families. If you do not speak up, you are still part of the problems. You know what? Let's get into this video. I'm here to tell y'all something. I just got called racist in a store. And all I did was forget to hold the goddamn door open for a black lady. I ain't no fucking racist, all right? She said, I let three white people in and I didn't see her. And I said, no, I didn't see you. It was an accident. She said, exactly my point. And I said, what do you mean she was gone? She just walked off. It ain't right. White people are being discriminated against. It's the black people that are racist today. It ain't the white people no more that's racist. It's the black people. They hate us. And I just, I don't understand why they hate us. Why do black people hate white people so much? Please give Ronnie the clan tens a chance to help the white man. So what do you care about? White folks being called racist? Or other people enduring racism other than white folks? And I bring all this up because there's so much apathy in the white community toward anybody that's not white. Because we've all been conditioned to think that way and to feel that way. So I challenge you as white people. We don't have to endure black or brown supremacy. What are you worried about? Wokeness? Or are you worried about genuine supremacy that is systemic and cultural in America? What are you really, really worried about? Because black or brown supremacy is not oppressing anybody may make you uncomfortable, but nobody has been oppressed by it. It's gaslighting and projecting. That's what we white people do best. I've said it a thousand times. I'll say it again. That's all it's about. When you're worried so much about your feelings of being called a racist, number one, that stereotype is true because of our track record. Most white people are racist in that we support racism in one way or another. We're not projecting it, we're denying it. We're not denying it, we're deflecting. We're not doing all that shit, ignoring it, then we're perpetrating it. That's a fucking truth. Most white people are racist because we support racism, our racism. We support anti-blackness. We support a racial hierarchy with white on top. That's what this nation was built upon. We are a country of colonizers. So I'm telling you again, white America, listen up. You are the problem. Black people have to endure anti-blackness every single day in this country. That's a culture that we created and that we continue to uphold. Nobody has a force of anti-whiteness that is oppressing us. No, there is no anti-whiteness systemic problem institutionally economically socially even psychologically that's why it's called white privilege because we don't have to endure that bullshit that everybody outside of white does have to endure and if you're white and you don't give a fuck then you are the problem and not until we give a fuck collectively will the problem be fixed until then we'll just be a bunch of low lives morally, spiritually, 
living off of the backs of everybody that's not white, denigrating our brothers and sisters so that we can steal resources from them, but not being fair, but not being just, but not giving people simple equality. And look at the measures that we go to criminalize blackness. Look at the measures we go, that anti-black hate, it's being legislated. White America should be ashamed of themselves for what we have done to our brothers and sisters and what we continue to do. So get woke, wake the fuck up, stop anti-blackness, stop our culture and system of white supremacy. Do something, say something, take action, tell your friends, share this video with your white friends. One more thing, most black people don't hate us. They're frustrated, they're tired of our bullshit, but they don't fucking hate us. And they certainly don't feel superior to us. Not the majority of them, because guess what? They weren't taught that bullshit about supremacy. White people were. All they want is fairness, equality, just to be treated like a fucking human being. Like I keep saying this, uh, first of all, let me say a very big shout out to Dixon White. He is awesome and he has been doing this anti black, uh, you know, uh, for a very longer time, you know. And I am so happy that somebody is saying it. Black people are not even like, you know, asking for to be the superior and all that. You all already know that we are the superior race, you know. But we are not asking for to be the superior or anything and all of that. The only thing they are, you know, working towards is just to be treated fairly in everything. Because it looks like the system, like not even it looks like, the system has been made or has been kind of a condition to like, you know, not favor black people. But it favors every other person. But uh, it is not in any way nice to black people and what we are all asking is that the system that has been oppressing us like you know let them dismantle that system for my own people the people that look like me the system must be dismantled you know it is like they keep saying it is not in their uh so most of them when you tell them to speak up about uh, the, you know, the anti-blackness in their community and how unfairly they have been treating black people and all that, they will tell you that it is not in their culture to speak up. But when something happens to them, they want black people to speak up for them. It is no longer going to happen. The black people that I know, I ain't ready for ain't all this bullshit anymore. So you rub my back, I rub your back. And they all know so much that we do not hate anybody. We do not dislike anybody. But you all know what you are doing. You all sit back in your houses and gaslight black people and say some nasty things about black people because it is not affecting you. Most of them are doing all this because it is not affecting them, because it is not their problem, because they are not the ones like, you know, going through it. It is all black people's problem. It is all your fault. It is like, you know, they discriminate, they criminalize and the rest of it. When we speak up, when we talk, they tell, they tell us that we talk so much and they try to gaslight us into saying that it's been a long time most of all these things happen when most of the things that happened back then to this very moment are still happening are they not happening absolutely they are still happening so all of these are the things that i look at and i am like i hope one day you all sit back and feel the pain my people feel i wish you all can sit back for a day and, and uh, like, you know, sit on our chair or step in our shoes. But then, no, you all scream that you do not have any privilege, right? But you, you do not have privilege. That is what you tell us, that there is no privilege attached. But when I ask you, can you switch your skin color? For one day or for 30 minutes, you say no, that you ain't ever giving up your complexion. You ain't ever giving up your color for anything. So what is more like, what, what else do you need to know about privilege? 
because your skin already has given you that immune. You are already immune to so many things happening, right? But we every day we struggle for our lives from police brutality to redlining and the rest of it. Did Jim Crow ever go away? Not at all. It's evolved. 